Saludos a todos, nos encontramos con Edgar Martínez del equipo técnico de los Seattle Mariners. Edgar, queríamos saber qué piensas de Edwin Díaz y la tremenda temporada que ha tenido. Bueno, Edwin Díaz este, en los últimos dos años ha, ha sido el closer de nosotros y este año ya con, con experiencia que ha ganado ha hecho un magnífico trabajo. Uh, tiene alrededor de 56 salvados. Uh, ha sido una gran parte de uh, lo que ha hecho la diferencia para el equipo de nosotros este año. Uh, tremendo te temporada ha tenido. Eh, considerando Edwin Díaz y otros lanzadores boricuas, ¿qué dirías del picheo boricua? ¿Está en buena condición de cara al Clásico 2021? Sí, el, el picheo de Puerto Rico, uh, encabezado por Edwin Díaz, ha, ha mejorado muchísimo en los últimos años. Tenemos una cepa buena de picheo y espero que siga saliendo más picheo de Puerto Rico. Qué bueno. Y por último, ¿qué, qué ha sido lo mejor que ha hecho el equipo de Seattle, eh, personajes como tú y Mel, para darle a Edwin Díaz esa oportunidad de, de ser quien es? Bueno, Edwin Díaz, uh, la consistencia de él ha sido tremenda este año. Uh, en realidad, el trabajo que ha hecho ha sido increíble y en realidad todo, todo el crédito se lo merece Edwin. Ha sido bien agresivo con sus picheos y los juegos de una carrera de diferencia, él ha sido la clave. Bueno, muchas gracias por tu tiempo, Edgar, y bueno, Walter, felicidades. Gracias, gracias. Hello, everyone. We are here with Seattle Mariners pitching coach Mel Stoudemire. Mel, how are you doing today? I'm wonderful. We want to talk to you today about Edwin Diaz. He is on pace to break, or he could break the record for most saves in a season. Either way, he has 56. What do you think you, the pitching coach and the Seattle Manners did to set up Eddie for to have such a great season in 2018? Well, you know, a lot of it has come from Eddie and just watching the development of this kid and how he's gone about his business and really not having anybody at the back of the bullpen to groom him and take him through that role. He's done a great job. You know, he traditionally came up as a starter, had a half of a season uh, in the bullpen in AA, and has come up and has become much more proficient in his fastball command. We've all known about his wipeout slider. And, you know, he's grown and matured, uh, both as a person and a baseball player, but just the understanding of what weapons he has and, and how they play, and then learning the league, you know, becomes a big part of it as well. Why? Other guys get more familiar with him. He's done a great job of understanding what guys are trying to do against him. What can he do, what can he do better next year? Well, I mean, it's it's hard to duplicate what he's done. You you really can't ask for any more. Uh, he's pitched a lot of innings, a lot of outings for us. You know, he's never shied away from taking away from the baseball. He's he's hitting some thresholds that he's never hit in his lifetime. You know, guys over the course of 162 games and as many innings as he's pitched, you know, you can't help but get tired. So. Uh, he's just going to keep learning, you know. He, he pushes himself. That's the great thing about Eddie is he's not complacent. He doesn't come to the ball yard to where, you know, he gets he gets complacent with things. He pushes himself, and uh, he's been real easy to work with. You know, he, he's he's getting more in tune with the the analytics and how things work, how he works, and we know that takes time for young pitchers. And he's doing some great things in this game. So we're not, we're not going to ask any more of Eddie. We just, we'd like to see Eddie do the same thing he's done this year. Eddie be Eddie. Eddie be Eddie. It's, you know, there's a lot of, a lot of people in this game who know Eddie Diaz now. Uh, he's woke the baseball world up. You know, a lot of people have taken notice of what he's done and the accomplishments that he's, that he's done. And, uh, you know, you, you got to give credit to Eddie. Would Worked his butt he, off. He's been open-minded. You would say he's had a humble pragmatic approach to learning no no doubt you know he, he's never with young players you'll get panic a lot of times you know and he's had his his bumps in the roads and the, you know the roller coaster rides right. like all young players but just watching him grow and mature and how he's handled situations and learning how to pitch in and out of those uh, without the panic and the ability to to make pitches you know he's at a great place at 24 years old and done some great things in the game so far. Great. Uh, finally, it would seem that his persona matches his quality as in, he, you know, the, you had that haircut con uh, bet with Scott Servais. Do you think he's been able to make himself uh, somebody that people like in Seattle? 
no doubt. He's become a, you know, he's, uh, Seattle has had been able to see firsthand what this guy has to offer every day. The electricity that when his song plays in the ninth inning that he comes into the game, you know, it's just people get a big charge and they, they love Eddie. It, it's the rest of the baseball world has got it in tune and what this guy has to offer. And, you know, he's such a humble kid and very charismatic in his own way. He's exciting. He's electric. He's electric Eddie. All right, Mel. Well, uh, we're, we're happy that Eddie can count on someone like you to help guide him for the MLB. And uh, best luck to you. And uh, we'll talk to you. Eddie's soon. been great, man. I'd love to have another Eddie. You know, there's only well, one you, thing better than Eddie, and that's have two Eddies. Find me another one just you like want two Eddies. I want two Eddies. All right. Well, thank you so much for your time. Okay.